Facebook pages. Do you know what they are? Do you know why they're a problem? Do you know how to get rid of them? I'm Matt Jones with Web Punch, and today we're going to be discussing unofficial Facebook pages. Unofficial Facebook pages are pages that are created by Facebook without your permission, and usually they were created because someone went to check into your business and your business didn't have a listing. So Facebook said, hey, people have an interest in this business. I'm going to go ahead and create a page for them. And why that's a problem is that people will start to submit reviews to your unofficial pages and you have no ability to respond to them because you don't have, you didn't create it. You don't have the credentials to log in and interact and customize your page. You don't have the ability to add logos and pictures and all the things that that we do to optimize a listing. And also Google wants you to optimize those listings too in order to help rank with, with uh, Google search. So it's a problem with that way. And so we wanna make sure that you have control over the, the message that people see when they're looking at your listings. And again, if they're leaving reviews, that you have the ability to go in and respond. The other thing that's a big problem is that people are doing that and, and a lot of business owners are unaware about the things that people are saying on those unofficial pages. So wanna make sure that we get those uh, resolved and tidied up. And here's how you do it. There's three different things you can do. If you don't have a Facebook listing, if you don't have a Facebook page, you can actually just go in, search for your business. If you found an unofficial page, you can see it. We'll, we'll, we'll insert some screenshots here so you know what to look for. But it'll say an unofficial page the first thing you want to do is claim it. So again, if you don't have a business listing on Facebook, a business page, go ahead and claim it and it'll just say, is this your business? Click it and there's just a few steps and you're, you're off and running. The second thing is, let's say you do have a page on Google, or excuse me, Facebook, but you also have an unofficial page on, on Facebook. So in that case, we want to merge the duplicate page. So. To do that, you're gonna to go to www.facebook slash pages slash merge. And once you're there, you're gonna select the two different pages, again, your official page and your unofficial page. You're gonna uh, click on those and you're gonna submit that to Facebook. And then you're just gonna to have to wait a few days in order for Facebook to say, yes, you're approved for the merging of those two pages. The third option uh, we're going to cover. Is, I'm going to have to erase this board, and we're going to we're going to put it up here so you can understand. But I'll do that in a minute. The third option is to remove that sucker. So if you already have a Facebook page, you've already have an official page, then you can remove that other page. So again, you have to have that that Facebook page established in order to do this. But how you're going to do it is you're going to open both the unofficial and the official pages in two different tabs on your browser. So in one tab, you're gonna have your unofficial page, and the other tab, you're gonna have your official page up. And then you're gonna to go to uh, your official page, and you're gonna click on, towards the middle of the screen, Suggest Edits. And after you click on that, you're gonna to go to the bottom, and you'll see URL plus Add Duplicate URL. So in that, you're going to go to the tab that has your official page, and you're gonna copy that URL. You're gonna go back here and uh, insert that URL, and then you're going to go to the unofficial uh, pay tab URL. You're going to copy that and put that in here as well. And then you're going to, again, you're going to put those in there, and you're going to click the Save button. And we'll insert screenshots so you can follow along. But that's it. So after you've clicked Save, you're going to check back in a few days to see if Facebook has approved your request. And if they have, then you're good to go. And if they haven't, then call Web Punch because we can handle all of your reputation needs and help you knock out your competition one review at a time.